Now it's time to get it lit. We got it hot like fever. Uh. Sick with the talk, pass your receiver. All about running the spot. And you know we got breath control, so no need to take a breather. Cardio kingpin, subjugate the dub play. And you know we can't wait to bring spins. A star quizzes, A plus the final. Vocals we align, we'll move it all simul. Taneously over joints you rock. We earn 30 years, so you can say we got three turns. Live off the board, unlike you and your chess men. We installed out in you and your yes men. And if the game had bays, we'll insert upheaval the ground. Cause the adrenaline we blend with the sound is our thing. We're leaving the kings of all crowns. So you ready? ready? Are you set? set? Then jump to the rhythm as hard as you can go. Keep it steady. steady. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Takes this for three to the 29. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I'm not sure that you'd call it a trick play, but it definitely showed some imagination there. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to come back and show this play a few more times before this one is over. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, Haskins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Haskins. He's able to find Wallace. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. And now the Eagles get a signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. the play fake. Here's Haskins escaping the pressure right. Gonna let. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. An excellent gain. 35 yards. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Tackle that time by Sidney Jones. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They go 
play action with Haskins. And he whips that one incomplete there. He's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, and it's third down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Third down. Here's Haskins. Eluding the pressure right. And Robinson with a big catch. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. Fournette, a first down carry. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 10 more there and another first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Back to you. I'm going back to you. They go play action now. Haskins. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Wentz on the give to Sanders. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. It's a second down run with Sanders. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And Eagle first down there. Wentz to Ertz. And the names that end in TZ. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the gun, it's Wentz. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Check, hey, empty, empty. 46 down, man, 5-4. Now wins. His throw incomplete.
The former first round pick Marlon Humphrey there to get a hand on it. Marlon Humphrey on the coverage. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They kill. They four two kill. Fifty one, Mike. Mike fifty one. Go, go. Guys, out time. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Out, out. A bunch, bunch, bunch. Check, 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 check. Now wins. Looks to throw. Fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll do it for the first quarter of play. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. Elliott now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Check, check, check. Hey, 96 is coming. We got Mike 96. Throwing again on second down. Haskins. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. He may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield. And as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Haskins on third down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and ten. Now Wentz. Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Fletcher Cox, his second sack of the night. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him up right so they can throw the football. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Malik Jackson, the 6'5 D tackle with a sack. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Now Haskins, third and long. And the pressure gets to him again. Fletcher Cox bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. 
That is how you flip field it. position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. No, 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 no. <laughs> On first down. Swift. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again, and instead, it works opposite. Hey, Alpha! Back near the goal line. Here's Wentz. Man open. It's J.J. Ortega right side. He's at the 50. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. So forget about any talk of possible safeties. Here's first and 10 clear on the other side of the field. Check 50, check 50. Watch safety three. Ram, ram, ram. Safety three. And he'll give it here to his running back. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Hey, you don't want to see me. You don't want me. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist. Twist, twist. Hey, 57, 57. 58 to Mike, 58. 58 to Mike. Let's go. Hey, Zoo. Hey, 58 to Mike. Looking to throw on second down. Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Redskins now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston and company with some work to do after the sack. Redskins 14. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Into the red zone. Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it's going to be second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. That seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Montez Sweat able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Check nine, check nine. Hey, other side, solid, solid. Watch this. Hey, ram, ram, ram. Hey, hey, hey. On third and long, it's Wins. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. J.J. Arthago Whiteside, the intended receiver. Out 
out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. That right there, career catch number 541, and that's significant because it ties him with Hall of Famer Kellen Winslow, who also obviously played the tight end position. Yeah, and helped revolutionize it when he was in San Diego. But how about the pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And Sanders now to return. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Going up top. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. J.J. Ortega, white side, the intended receiver. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position. After a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game. Yet, they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. On second down now, Swift. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Man, five, seven. 
Now they'll throw it. Wins. This short throw caught by Goddard. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. You got it. You got it. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. But he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. On third down, Swift. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? They'll run with Sanders. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. They come out with one back and three tight ends. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Haskins flushed out right. He's going to take off with it, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Haskins on third down. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. This will be taken in at the one. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jannard Avery in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now Haskins to throw on second down. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Off play action. Haskins looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And now time will be called here as we've got an injured Redskin down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Throwing on third and long. Haskins. He finds Robinson. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Off the play fake, Haskins. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. The Redskins on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Haskins. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. 82 is moving. Single, single. 43 is the mic. 43 is the mic. Here, here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. 43 is the mic, boy. 43. They're going on fourth down. Haskins. Being chased out left. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. I don't know about you, but can you just almost feel the relief that's gone through this stadium? He picked up that first down without it. This game is over. And when he took off, it was almost like, oh, no, this might be it, but found a way to pick up the first. 
On first and ten, it's Haskins. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take a shot for the end. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. As his guys are in for six. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Check, nickel, nickel, nickel. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Please find seven. Check, check. Right back to him on first down. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Man, five, seven. Throwing on second down. Wentz. Forced out to his left. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw is Wentz. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter.